Cafe's been tracking this humidity. She said it's just not going to feel great outside today. Right. It's really not. Their humidity is just a little bit lower than yesterday, but it's still high overall. So we just have to accept it's going to be, you know, pick your word for it, balmy, sweaty, uh, overall, maybe a little uncomfortable for you. So, hey, it's a good pool day if you're looking for a way to cool off this afternoon. Out the door this morning, we're dry across central Indiana. Yes, we're getting some of those pretty colors from the sunrise. We don't really have a lot of issues other than some patchy fog that's developed it, some of it on the denser side, especially areas northwest of Indianapolis. So into Montgomery County, Crawfordsville registering visibility only at a third of a mile at this time. Frankfurt at 1.7 miles visibility. So if you're going to be traveling through those areas, just take a little bit slower this morning. Live Guardian radar across central Indiana, quiet. A lot of storm activity off to our west. So if your travels this morning will be taking you I-70 into Illinois, do know that we are dealing with some heavy showers, some thunderstorms, and even a flash of flood warning out in eastern Illinois, very close, actually right over Effingham at this time. We aren't looking to get in on that activity as the storms continue to push south and east, but I wouldn't completely rule out an isolated shower or an isolated thunderstorm later on into the day. The temperature now we're at 70 degrees with those dew point temperatures temperatures quite high. We're at 69 in Muncie, 69 in Bloomington, and our winds are out of the southwest. We're going to drive in more of this very warm, very humid air mass. Looking off to the west where we see those brighter pinks, it's very hot. It will be very hot in those locations where they're under a heat advisory. We're not under a heat advisory here, but we are talking temperatures this afternoon that by the lunch hour will be in those low 80s. Into the late afternoon, we're looking at a high of 90 degrees. Then you combine in the fact that it's so humid out there, it's going to feel a few degrees warmer than it actually is. CBS 4 Future View, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds around this morning. Into the afternoon, this is the lunch hour. That chance for a spotty shower in our western counties, and we'll continue with the chance for an isolated shower, maybe an isolated thunderstorm on into the evening. But those chances are slim, and we should see a good bit of sunshine around today. We have the Indians back home tonight at Victory Field, taking on the bats with the first pitch at 7.05. PM. It's still going to be a very warm evening all the way through the evening hours. Temperatures hovering in those 80s, 9 o'clock at 83 degrees, but it is dollar menu night there. We are looking at rain chances that are going to be peaking this week on Thursday with some scattered showers and storms around. That'll be the day we see the most coverage around the area, and then those rain chances will be dwindling again as we head towards the weekend. We'll keep rain chances on a minimum for tomorrow. It'll be breezy, hot, humid again, lots of sunshine. 93 for your Wednesday with some storm chances late, possibly Wednesday night into early Thursday. I have 85 on Thursday, those scattered showers and storms and some hit and miss storms on Friday with a high of 87. We're going to keep that heat and humidity rolling on into the weekend. We'll bump it back up into those lower 90s. Justin we will have some hit and miss showers and storms this weekend, but there will be some outside time too. Some really nice weather for the Indians tonight. I know I, I mean, could, if you like the heat, I could do some damage <laughs> on some dollar dogs. And I